Hey guys, on the bricks here back again for another Lego Worlds video gameplay. Anyways, today we're gonna be taking a look at all of the legendary bricks. We come in here to the free build tool, to the brick builds, and uh oops, did the wrong thing, but uh all the legendary bricks are down here. So uh first off I'll uh, buy them all. And so there are fifteen legendary bricks, and the only way you can get them all is from the Legendary coordinates, which are uh, these little fragments right here, which you can uh, recognize them as QR codes. And uh, once you follow them all, you will get uh, and scan them with a mobile device. You will get the coordinates, which you can enter into with galactic coordinates, and you can get these bricks. So, anyways, I'll go through them in order of how they are right here. So, this first one is the legendary uh, one by one brick. And it's uh, pretty cool. And it's, uh, so I'll put it up right here. And we can take a look at it. It's, uh, you can see the scale. The uh, stud is actually six studs long. And the whole thing is uh, ten studs long. Which makes it uh, ten times bigger than the real brick. And it's in this nice uh, warm gold color. And it's, uh, Pretty cool. So you can like build some like really cool things with these. Ne the next one would be the legendary two by one slope brick. Just uh, get it down to the uh, correct height and place it down. Try to line it up with that one. Right like that. That one looks pretty cool because you got some nice uh, slopes in there. The next one is a big one, huge giant uh, slope brick right here pretty tall brick but necessary for getting high angles next one another slope brick it's the uh, one by three slope and then the one by four slope which is even uh larger and gets uh even more i think i'll uh, put this one up a little bit further just to show the uh the real uh, size comparison then there's the uh corner slope which is uh, necessary for building corners and then the 2x2 two two slope which even though it can be made by two of the 1x2 slopes it still is such a uh, classic brick they, they really had to include it and then there's this giant one which is basically two of those other ones combined kind of except you get it together in a, a nice looking one <coughs> finally a nice uh, looking brick right here is the two by three brick which looks awesome then there is the two by three slope which again is kind of like two of the other ones um, and this one which again is kind of like two of those other ones and this uh, three by three uh, triangle slope which uh, looks awesome just like that then there's the two by two brick another awesome classic brick and the classicest of bricks is that a word no it's not but the most classic the two by four brick which uh just looks amazing and then the final one is the legendary two by one brick so i'll put that guy over right over here and so then um this is all of them and of course once you've uh, gotten them all then you can start to build like some cool things with them so if i come over here and um place down this guy and then um Place them down again. Now I just built the stack. Then I can do that and take um, some slopes right here. It's, a, it's not the easiest thing to line them up, but get the hang of it eventually. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm building. I don't really know what I just built here, but. It's uh, it's something, and it lets you create these really cool, um, large scale creations. And of course, it gets them in an awesome looking gold color, which of course you can just uh, paint them afterwards. Whoops, I think I did that wrong. Was up a little too low. So like that. No. Wait, why is it doing that? Maybe I was up too high. That's weird. Oh, why 
is it doing that? Alright, I guess I'll leave it like that. And then, of course, if you wanted another color, you can simply use the, uh, the uh, paint tool and choose your thing so you can paint it on. Uh, why don't I paint it lava? So now we got lava legendary bricks. So we'll put uh, lava on the legendary bricks. And the, uh, the, the shine on here is uh, really nice. You can see like some reflections of the clouds and stuff. It's like, uh, it wasn't that hard to build that huge giant structure, whatever the heck it is. <laughs> but um, <coughs> I'll go over them one more time. Uh, first I'll get this, uh, this flower out of the way. Because these uh, sheep are messing up my video. Get out of there. Anyways, you can see you can climb all over them. And they have all got studs that uh, work out like this. And if you wanted to see the um, the undersides of them are virtually all the same, um, but I'll just uh, do one example. Oops, brick builds over here, and come over to the two by four brick, which I was just on, and um, just look up. That is what they look like from the uh, underneath, just like that. You can see they actually have the uh, Lego tubes and stuff, which is how the uh, Lego bricks connect to each other. So they do look actually really nice on that side. And then they are super easy to remove because they're just bricks. Okay. You can't remove them as one. You have to use the uh, remove tool to uh, come in here and uh, remove them like that. Uh, yeah. So anyways, and the slopes are nice, uh, made of slopes and these nice big slopes. <coughs> I think maybe I'll make a legendary house or something like that. And I'll definitely have to uh, make a video on that if I do end up making a legendary house, which would be pretty cool. Like uh, some kind of structure just entirely made of legendary bricks. Because they're pretty high. And um, there's nothing too special about them other than just like the fact that that's like what they are. Because, um, I mean, it's not like they have anything too exclusive about them, but they're definitely hard to get, and it took a, took a decent amount of time to collect all fi uh, 15 of them, because you do need to find those legendary coordinate pieces first. But the, uh, they look great, and so having them like the 2x4 is just like such a cool thing to have. Again, as you can see, that weird thing over there. It's uh, kind of easy to create like some big things rather quickly with these huge bricks and you can uh, paint them so you could then make like a black one or a red one and then um, do that so let me I'll compare it to the um where is that one I got should be somewhere over here after you get enough brick builds they start becoming difficult to find the ones you're looking for oh here it is so I got this large red brick, and so I'll uh, put that right down here next to my legendary brick, and we can do a little uh, size comparison right here. So they appear to be the same size as this uh, large red brick that I got. Yeah, so they're the exact same, which is cool. So now you can uh, build some different colors into your uh, creation, and that sort of thing. Anyways, I guess that's really uh, it for these uh, legendary bricks. Please share your opinion of them in the uh, comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys later.